I'm used to dancing on stage. In fact, I feel like I should be dancing up here. Um, it is my first public speech. And I'm kind of thinking about everyone that says, oh, I'd love to do salsa classes, but I'm too scared. And um, looking at you, you look a bit scary. But in reality, salsa dancing isn't scary, and neither are you. So it has a lot of um, health benefits. It's actually a really good form of exercise equivalent to aerobics. And um, I think we will have a list of um, some of the health benefits as well. Go back one. Okay, so um, while dancing is a fun night out, it's a great form of exercise with so many physical and mental um, benefits. So the first one is improved memory. Um, not only does the dancing physically increase blood flow to the brain, um, it also helps you exercise your brain by remembering all the dance moves and the dance patterns and the names of the people in the classes that you're likely to, to meet. And this exercise is actually crucial for, for good brain health and to improve your memory. Um, dancing in general, it's been found to be especially, especially stimulating to the mind and in some research um, for Alzheimer's and um, dementia, it's been shown to uh, um, have an improvement up to 63%. So it's, it's quite a big improvement there. Improves flexibility and your bones and your joints. So, I mean, if you just lift your shoulders up and down and you can just feel how um, that tension helps to relieve the tension from your shoulders. When we do salsa, we're moving a lot of um, our shoulders, our neck, our main core as well. Um, we use our whole body, obviously your, your legs as well. We're putting our arms up in the air, so it's good for your back wings, um, your, your calves, your thighs, tone your buttocks. And uh, let's see, some, um, I mean, some people think of images of dancers flying through the air with red frilly skirts, frilly, frilly um, skirts and shirts, and it's not like that at all. It's just a fun, fun, um, fun class. So, uh, a biggie is dancer sals dancing salsa reduces stress. Okay, it's a really fun form of exercise, and when you are dancing, people just tend to forget all their worries and their problems. They just connect to the music, it's often fun, lively music. You're connecting to your partner, you're thinking about your moves, and um, all the stress and the tension of the days just seem to flow away. Um, I often have people turn up at classes and think, oh God, I was so stressed today, um, and I'm just absolutely exhausted. I nearly didn't come, but I'm so pleased I did, because now I'm full of energy and just feel ready and raring to go. Um, Let's see, so salsa dancing is, it's a very good anti-stress anti therapy. Dancing also elevates our mood, so it, re it releases um, happy hormones, endorphins, which are also really good for fighting and um, helping boost our immune system, because stress and depression are two of our worst enemies when it comes to the immune system. So uh, these endorphins help us heal stress and depression. And talking of well, stress onto depression, um, I, I used to suffer drastically. I was so bad about 18 years ago. I ended up totally paralysed. I was literally a bedridden cabbage, just choking on my own tongue. I couldn't even get the water from the side of the bed. And I tried to think about the happiest moments in my life when I was thinking about um, contemplating suicide in my early 20s. I just couldn't face what was going on in my life, but I decided to just take off, leave Guernsey, and I end up in the Caribbean, which is where I discovered salsa. And I end up dancing about 80 hours a week and just thinking, oh my God, this is like the happiest days of my life, to think how I turned it, turned it around with dance. So when I got ill about 18 years ago, which was, a lot of it was due to, to stress, anxiety, depression, um, I tried to focus on those moments of dancing. 
And I remember thinking when I could sort of start to move a few yards on a Zimmer frame, my aim was, oh, I must start teaching dancing again because dancing brings so much joy um, to so many people. And that was, that was my main focus to get back out there and start teaching, which I did. And um, I'm so pleased because so many people have said how it's changed their, changed their lives. Um, it also helps your heart. So salsa dancing, it's, it's a really good cardio workout. Um, it's, it's very much like an aerobic exercise, if you want to put that much effort into it. Obviously, you can just sort of plod along and take it easy, depending on how old you are. Or you can really put all the effort into it and use your whole body and tone and get your heart rate up. Um, it also lowers your cholesterol. So new research has discovered that it's also necessary to, to measure both, both good and bad cholesterol. And um, salsa dancing helps in li um, lipid control. So it raises the good cholesterol and it lowers the bad cholesterol. Um, and it's also great for diabetics because it aids um, uh, blood sugar control. So that's another little point that I was quite surprised about when I was doing my research. As well as helping you release toxins because it's exercise. And obviously if you release toxins, that's a good thing because that in turn helps boost your immune system as well. Um, one of the biggies is it helps you lose weight. So I had um, a, a new student start last week and he came on Monday and he loved it so much he came back on Tuesday. And then he said, oh, can I book a private lesson on Wednesday? And when he came, he said, oh, I can't believe it. He said, I, I wanted to lose weight, but I wasn't really thinking about it. And I've lost two pounds in the two nights I've been salsa dancing without even trying. So it's, it's a great form of exercise that it's just fun rather than feeling like, oh, no, I've got to go to the gym. I've got to do a really good workout. Just come along and have, have fun. Um, it increases the circulation, which improves the metabolism, which is obviously a key in um, also losing weight as well as burning the calories, which can be sort of 500 plus calories an hour. So it's a good a workout as, as swimming or um, running. In fact, I had another student say um, he was feeling really guilty because he was supposed to be training for a marathon and he hadn't been running recently because he was so in love with salsa, he kept coming to all the salsa classes. And, he, and uh, when he went back to train, he was like, oh my God, I can't believe it. I've just had like my best run ever. And all I've done is salsa. And then it kind of clicked and the penny dropped. And he said, yeah, yeah, salsa it is a really good workout, isn't it? because you just you don't realise what a good workout is because you're just busy having fun. Um, it also helps to decrease your body fat percentage and, and improve your muscle percentage, which is uh, another good way to lose weight because if you have a higher muscle percentage than fat, your body literally um, burns up calories faster even when you're sleeping. So it's good to have good muscle tone rather than um, a high fat percentage. That's another important part of weight loss. Um, next one is it improves your balance. So whilst that doesn't seem important, um, especially as you get older, it's easy to trip over and to fall over and give yourself an injury. While you're dancing, um, you have to keep your balance ab above your feet. So that can um, be a big plus point for your health. And so you're less likely and um, prone to be injure, injured in your daily lives. It also helps uh, coordination and helps you strengthen your reflexes. So if you've got quicker reflexes, that's a positive effect on your well-being. Um, as well as improving the connection between our bodies and um, our mind. Um, we know about the health, body, mind and soul. <laughs> so I wasn't sure if I should mention this bit, but... When I, um, when I was dancing in the Caribbean, I think I was on such a high out there. I didn't know anything about energy work, which I've studied intensely over the last 18 years. But I was on such a high. I must have been vibrating at such a high level. I literally used to feel like I was dancing about a metre off the floor, just whizzing round in this, this round straw hut, dancing with um, mainly the locals. It was before the tourists got out there when I lived there. So I was dancing for 80 hours a week. And it was just like they say, the dancing just flows through your veins. 
And um, I know you, you might have heard of yoga guys, how they raise their vibration and they start to feel lighter and some can apparently float. Well, dancing certainly helped me raise my vibration without realising it and I just felt like I was high as a kite. And I was only drinking pear juice. <laughs> Found if we drank alcohol, we'd be like knocked out and, and tired. If we just had pear juice, the high of dancing would keep us going from 8 o'clock at night till 8 o'clock in the morning, six days a week. On the seventh day, we'd start at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and we'd be dancing just non-stop all day and all night. And um, it, just, it just gives you so much energy, but it just keeps you going and going and going which um, is the next one up there, increases energy levels. So, um, let's see, dancing, it's um, tremendously beneficial in keeping your body young, because when you dance and you exercise, especially salsa, it just it brings you alive. It's lovely, lively music. Um, I know I can't help you, you can't help moving as well. You just can't help um, wanting to move to the music, you know, it, it, it just livens you up. And if you've got more energy and your brain's alert, this just helps so much um, improve your health and well-being. Um, we make friends. Salsa's a very social sport. Um, we tend to rotate partners quite a lot as well, so everybody gets to meet everybody else. I mean, you can just stay with your partner if you want to, but you tend to get into bad habits and you start sort of whispering, do this, do that, or you get used to bad signals. Whereas if you change partners, we usually rotate um, two or three times in a record, you get to meet lots of people. And um, so you improve your social skills. So that again is good. It can help lift depression when you meet new people, make new friends. And... Um, So yeah, you don't need to drink. You can have a glass of wine or beer, which some people do before class. Um, I tend to stick to magnetised water. That's another story, but um, that keeps me on a high and gives me energy. So um, yeah, I just, I've seen lots of people make good friends during salsa classes and even go into relationships, get married. I've made lots of babies, I can say as well. So <laughs> I'm quite proud that I've seen a lot of happy couples and obviously being in a happy relationship is another huge part of, of well-being. Um, if you're married already, maybe you'd like to rekindle that spark, then salsa could be for you. I'll point to my partner over there, it's about time, about time he came a bit more often. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great social skill to, to do if you're married as well um, as meeting new people. It just helps raise conversation. You know, you can talk about the moves. It's something you can use not just in class as a weekly night out. You can, um, you know, use it when you when you go out to just help increase that bond and to have a happy marriage. I just wish more couples would dance together, um, and it should be taught in schools as well as a life a life skill. I mean, I have talked. Um, well, it's good for all ages. I've taught in schools little five-year-olds, you know, and they've been so proud there because they're thinking of Strictly Come Dancing. And I've taught in old folks' home where, you know, I've seen people that, you know, they can't hardly move when they're like, and they're shaking their maracas or they're waving their walking sticks in the air, probably getting a bit too carried away. But it is, it's, it's for all, all ages. So, um... Yeah, I teach six classes a week and private tuition, and um, it's just a highlight. Um, all, all ages are welcome, all levels are welcome. Don't think so many people say, oh, I can't dance, I can't come to your classes. That's why you come and, and learn to exercise your, your mind and body and learn a new skill. Um, it's a friendly, healthy environment. So a quick recap, the salsa dancing benefits. It improves your memory and brain function. It improves flexibility. It reduces stress and um, can lift depression. Okay, you're moving your shoulders, your neck, all your body. It's a great cardio workout, which leads to a healthier heart 
as well as toning all your muscles and your internal organs as well. We do a lot of exercises, um, which is exercising isn't just about your muscles. Those internal organs, getting a good workout is so important as well for a healthy function. Strengthens your core, back, arms, legs and buttocks, which in turn helps you lose weight. Improves your balance, makes you less likely to fall over. Increases your energy levels, um, which most of us need, especially the young, from what I see nowadays. So, generally, salsa dancing just increases your overall fitness and general well-being. And it's all whilst making new friends and socialising. So what more could you wish for? Thank you.